We're going to quickly put our snowflakes together from last time. Some of us may have already glued our snowflakes onto a backing paper, but if you haven't done that, you're just going to get some glue and we're going to put it in a circular shape toward the outside edge, very thin, and then just do a thin X. Now we're going to place that snowflake down into the glue and kind of pull it out so that it flattens out your snowflake made out of that coffee filter because the coffee filter still wants to kind of bend upward. Now that it's in place, I can turn it over on my table. I can rub so that that glue spreads out and really holds that snowflake in place. And you can use a paper towel to wipe up your table. And then once you have each of these on a background paper, make sure that you take a pencil and in a corner put your name so that you can get your snowflake back after it dries. And after you do that, I would recommend that you glue them together so that we can punch a hole at the top. You can either make them diagonal on top of each other or you can let the background color peek through so that this one looks square shaped and this one looks diamond shaped. And I think I like that look. I think it adds something to the front and it kind of helps my background paper look a little more rotational. So again, I'm just going to make a circle on here because I'm going to let that square kind of hang off the other side and try to make the triangle sides even as much as you can. And again, we're gonna just gently press that together and then we will hole punch this and we'll put a hanger string in it so that we can decorate with it.